Hey there, welcome. Avra here with Cami. So in this short video, we are going to take a look at the Cami dashboard, which is basically like the homepage of Cami. So remember to get to the Cami dashboard, what you want to do is either open up a new tab and type in kami.app, kami.app, or you can simply use the extension, click on it, and it will open up the Cami dashboard. The Cami extension method is probably the easiest, and it's also really important to have that extension installed for a lot of other reasons so that you can get integration with your learning management system, with your Google Drive, things like that. We will look at the Cami extension in another video, but let's get started now using the dashboard. So you can see here that the Cami dashboard gives us a lot of different options. And the first one that I want you to be aware of is this open file area up here in the top left. The reason that we have open file listed as the very first thing that you see is because it's important to know that when you're utilizing Cami, it's not about starting from scratch. It's not about starting over or reinventing the wheel or making your life harder. It's about making your life easier. It's about taking your existing files, your existing worksheets or activities for students and making them more interactive, making them more accessible. So what kind of files do we mean? What kind of files work with Cami? Well, you might be thinking that Cami is just for PDF files. However, Cami can convert many different types of files into PDFs. So you can take your existing Google Docs, existing Google Slideshows, existing Google Spreadsheets, or if you are alternatively or additionally a Microsoft user, anything in OneDrive, Word or PowerPoint, those kinds of files can all be brought into Cami. You can also bring in image files, image files like photos. You can take a picture of something that's on your wall. You can take a picture of a page in a book. So don't limit yourself to just thinking about PDFs. Think about all different types of activities and you can bring them in with the click of a button by clicking on Google Drive. Conversely, if you have something stored on your computer in your My Documents folder or wherever it's at, you can bring any of those files in as well. So you'll see here, we've got Google Drive, OneDrive, My Computer, and then we have something called the Cami Library. If you want to know what's kind of exciting and hot and trending right now in the Cami Library, you can look over on the right-hand side of the screen and you'll see this area that says Trending Templates. So the Cami library is entirely free and we will do a different video about it, but it's all full of so many different cool resources. As I'm making this video right now in the fall of 2023, there are over 1700 different templates and it grows each week and each month. So you'll find in there everything from graphic organizers to digital notebooks to seasonal activities. Like right now we're in the midst of back to school time here in the US. And so there are oodles and oodles of all about me activities for students and meet the teacher activities. So many cool things. There are even interactive drag and drop activities where students can label the parts of a cell or label the different areas of a globe on a map. So there's a lot of different possibilities for you to explore. So if you are looking for something new and exciting, some inspiration, the Cami Library is an ideal place to go. And you can do that by clicking over here where it says Browse Templates, or you can click right here where it says Cami Library. So let's scroll a little bit now and also talk about the options here in the Create New. The Create New section allows us to click where it says Blank Page, or if you're a Google Classroom assignment, or if you're a Google Classroom user, you can click where it says Google Classroom Assignment to immediately start making a Google Classroom assignment. If we click the Blank Page option here, you're going to see that there's a lot of different options and um, possibilities in here. If I drop down the menu that says Blank, you'll see all of these different types of new pages that you can create. So right now I'm just on a blank page, but hey, I could be on a lined page. I could also, when I choose lined page, determine and choose for myself the line thickness and the line spacing. So if I'm working with students that are younger or any type of student that needs a different kind of line spacing, that is available for you as well. 
So there's all sorts of different page sizes. Okay. So some standard ones that are here, as well as your ability to be able to customize it. So if you're looking specifically for eight and a half by 11 or your typical presentation style um, size, you can get that as well. Okay. So there's a lot of different possibilities here. And I always encourage folks to come in to the blank page option right here and explore because I think you'll find a lot of really neat things, including some of our favorite graphic organizers like Venn diagrams and T-charts. Okay. And then you'll also find here on the dashboard your ability to edit a file. So we have two different unique utilities that allow you to edit files. And we will I will do videos about those, but one is called text recognition and the other is called split and merge. And both of these options can be accessed here on the dashboard as well. The text recognition is going to allow you to take, like take a picture of a page in a book, for example, like I mentioned, and bring it in and then what will happen is that the Cami utility will run what's called text recognition or OCR, which stands for optical character recognition. And all that really means is it takes the picture of the text and turns it into digital text that then can be interactive. It can be read to students. It can have words defined, all of that awesome stuff that you find inside all of the Cami magic. Okay. And then lastly, you guys, I do have a list of recent files here that I've been working on in Cami, as well as an area here with more tutorials. So this tutorial is just me making it for you, but we have some that are really beautifully made by um, some of our really, really awesome creators at Cami, And so you can find even more there as well. So this is just a snapshot of the dashboard to kind of familiarize you with this environment because it's a great jumping off place for you as you get started using Cami.